Good morning and welcome to the future. Today I am driving the Tesla Model X. Actually, it is the second time I drive Model X. I've driven my first one that was a 75D back in February in Monaco. Now I am at the wheel of the model which sits between the 75 and the P 100D, which is the most ludicrous, fast, incredible model you can get. This is the 100D. Uh, 100 obviously means that it has a 100 kilowatt uh, power unit. D is for dual motors. In fact, this car has a, an electric motor powering the front axle and an electric motor powering the rear axle. And combined, you have a pretty intense and crazy power figures. All-wheel drive, of course, as mentioned. We have a very low center of gravity. It is, after all, a five meters long SUV. And the interesting fact about this car is that, uh, despite not being the most powerful, like the P100D, this provides the best uh, average mileage that you can get, uh, about 565 kilometers with uh, the car fully charged. We have um, a lot of Tesla uh, charging stations spread all over Europe and so it is very easy to drive this car on a daily basis and you can also charge this from home and put the car <laughs> linked to a socket like your smartphone and this is crazy, this is mental. Mental like the 17 inches um, touchscreen display located right here in the middle from which you can handle the entire car you only have two buttons the hazard and the button for opening the glove box in front of the passenger and yeah this car has autopilot you can move this car with the touch on your smartphone you can uh, manage to check the charging state charging status from your smartphone this is the future at hand the most part of the feature that the tesla model x and the model s and the incoming model 3 have are stuff that you won't find on other cars no matter the brand no matter the price uh, this spec as this very model costs about a hundred and forty thousand euro but after that you have uh, fully update on your infotainment, navigation, autopilot and everything uh, that can be upgraded lately and yeah, I mean weighing 2 ton and 600 kilos this car can go from 0 to 100 in 4.5 seconds and reach a top speed of about 250 this is not the craziest part because driving this for a bunch of days uh, made me understand that a daily car, an electric car, can be the funnest thing you can possibly ask for a weekend because you have a Spotify connection, you have a crazy satellite navigation system using Google Maps and then you can manage everything uh, with your voice, with the touchscreen or using the um, buttons on the steering wheel so big questions to this car are can I use it as a daily for real and if what if I have to drive I mean for example 700 kilometers that obviously you won't get with this and most possibly not even with a petrol or a diesel car without stopping so put it like this you stop for a coffee, for a snack, for having lunch, having dinner and in the meantime you can charge the Tesla in fact you can charge up to 50% of its battery in less than half an hour and I mean when I have a coffee for example when I have breakfast with my colleague we take more than half an hour so I can easily drive the Tesla on a daily basis I am doing this right now. We have done photo shoot. I'm now down doing this video, and I never had the worry. This car 
is nice to drive this car is fun to drive it is an SUV on its own of course you cannot compare this with a Range Rover or anything else but what it does it does that in a manner that has no equal so if you're looking for something unusual and you're a tech guy you're gonna love the Tesla it has crazy crazy performance and this is interesting because after all we all love to drive sports cars this is not a sports SUV but drives like one and this is a good factor I know that there is so much more to say about Tesla's and Model X and this particular one but this is a a car designed for usability but at the same time it satisfies your need to drive something exclusive something good something really really modern and there's nothing more modern than the Model X you have to drive this you have to drive this you have to feel the Tesla vibe because I think that if the future of SUVs and sedans look like this well it's a good thing I won't like a sports car to be fully electric right now because you will miss the sound you will miss the involvement but what about we are talking for the car that you use from home to work and neither of us want to waste fuel money in petrol for simply going to work and then you can save money for your entertainment car your really your your sports car so for now I hope I've been able to explain a glimpse of the Model X and at least make you curious because this car is all about discovery so thanks for watching guys click thumbs up if you like the video follow subscribe for more and stay tuned for my next adventure ciao